the sister says, my father will not allow me to marry this man because he is divorced and he has a child. Or the brother says, my folks are not allowing me to marry this woman because she is widowed and she has children. Is it wrong to marry a divorced person or a widow? The answer is no. In fact, it is recommended. Subhanallah. The Prophet ﷺ himself did it and so did the companions. If you look at the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, all of them were previously married besides one. Who was that one? Aisha radiallahu anha. The rest of them were previously married, either widows or divorced women. And there is nothing wrong. In fact, to look after the children of others is such a great quality where if you've married someone and they have children and you were to take care of them, give them a good upbringing, you'd actually be fulfilling a sunnah meaning a practice of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that very few people have the opportunity to fulfill and you would get a great reward for that. Imagine, because you are doing it for the sake of Allah and for the love of these children and perhaps their mother or their father. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. So be easy going and understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has definitely kept goodness in this for us. There is nothing wrong in marrying someone who is divorced or who is widowed, even if they have children. So my brothers and sisters, you've got to look at the person. They may be a brilliant person. And many times, many times, those who are divorced actually have a little bit of experience in relationships. So they would be a much more refined person many times. And this is something that people don't consider. I know in many cultures, the minute they say this woman is divorced, the parents are not even interested in their child marrying this person. People who don't even believe in our faith are much better in this regard than us. They are prepared to actually give people a second and a third and a fourth chance. Remember when divorce happens, many times the people are quite innocent. Maybe they were two different people and they got together. It was a mistake. So they drifted apart and they divorced. Sometimes one is wrong, one is right. Sometimes both are wrong to a certain extent, but it does not make anyone bad. Subhanallah, you need to find out that person might have been so good. And subhanallah, maybe the problem was from the other party. You don't even know. So don't just judge a divorced woman or a widowed person. Don't just judge them. You know, subhanallah, some people don't even want their daughters to consider a divorced man or a widower. And the other, the other way as well, where some people don't want their sons to consider a divorced woman or a widow. Remember, that has nothing to do with Islam or the teachings of the Prophet ﷺ. You consider someone on merit. And at times, these women who are divorced or widowed are amazing women. And sometimes, Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen, they would be the best wives and you've just lost out or your children would have lost out, your child would have lost out because you blocked it. How? I guess you would have probably tried to block a lot of the marriages of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, if you lived at that time. That's probably why you're not there, Subhanallah. I always tell myself, you know, uh, why are we not chosen to have been the companions of the Prophet ﷺ? Then I remind myself that I think many of us would have disagreed with the Prophet Astaghfirullah ﷺ. Many of us would have declined and denied because for us, the culture comes before the religion. I'm not saying culture is bad, but religion comes before culture. Always remember that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help all those who are divorced and widowed to, to get spouses who will be the coolness of their eyes. And those who are considering uh, someone who's divorced or widowed, mashallah, congratulations. May Allah bless you. Now I do know there are those who have never been married before who might say, what about us? Well, you are already in the picture. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.